My name is Dr. Nate Carmen. I'm the lone finalist for superintendent for Socorro ISD, and I have the opportunity to read a book today, If I Built a School, written by Chris Van Dusen. Jack, on the playground, said to Miss Jane, this school is okay, but it's pitifully plain. The builder who built this, I think, should be banned. It's nothing at all like the school I have planned. If I built a school, the first thing you'd meet are lots of cute puppies. They'd flock to your feet. But why stop at puppies? Why not a whole zoo? So I'd add a bunch of big animals too. Right off the lobby, to get to your class, I'd set up a system of tubes made of glass. You hop in a pod, press the number, then zoom. In under 10 seconds, you're right at your room. All of the classrooms are built onto towers that sprout from the schoolyard like colorful flowers. And like giant petals that welcome the day, the roofs open up in a similar way. Panels fold back and they let in the sun, which frankly makes being there that much more fun. Now, come see your classroom. Isn't it grand? That free floating platform is where you would stand. And using a stylus, you write in the air, no blackboard, no whiteboard, no, nothing is there. Your words just appear and they magically glow. Don't ask how this works, because I don't really know. But you're not the only one floating around. Check out the desks, they don't touch the ground. These are my hover desks, see how they glide? They even have bumpers in case you collide. In my kind of classes, we wouldn't have tests. I'd liven things up with some hologram guests. Here are some samples of what I've been thinking. You might meet a T-Rex or Abraham Lincoln. The library's next, so let's have a look. You won't find your everyday regular book. These books come alive when removed from the racks. They pop up like pop-ups, but pop to the max. And if you're not sure what a book is about, you'll find out quite quickly when something pops out. It's off to the gym, and this place is so cool. Around it, please note my perimeter pool. The pool's a deep oval that everyone likes. You race underwater on submarine bikes. Up there is my trampoline basketball court. It's partly a bounce house and partly a sport. There's also a rock wall, and here's something new. I've added some skydiving wind tunnels too. I just heard the lunch bell, so let's go and eat. I'd like you to meet my new robo chef, Pete. He's 20 feet tall and he spins on a gear. You order your lunch in this microphone here and Pete can make anything simple or weird from PB and jelly to squid lightly seared. It's now time for recess. Let's head out the door. My playground is awesome. So much to explore. Fly on the zip line way up in the sky or slide down the twisty slide three stories high. And after all that, if you're hot and you're beat, then you can go tubing. Now that would be sweet. In art, we use sprayers to splash out the paint. In music, we're loud, but our teacher's a saint. And over in science, just one of the features is lab-grown, genetically modified creatures. We'll visit new places, travel, explore, because we'll go on field trips. Field trips galore. My specialty buses will tote us around. They dive underwater, they blast off the ground. And yes, they have wheels like our regular cars, which neatly retract when we rocket to Mars. My school will amaze you. My school will astound. By far the most fabulous school to be found. Perfectly planned and impeccably clean. On a scale one to 10, it's more like 15. And learning is fun in a place that's fun too. If I built a school, that's just what I do. I hope you enjoyed this book, If I Built a School, and I want to encourage each of you to continue to read on your own. Thank you. <laughs>